Hi my Cancers, it's Al here to do a general reading. It's it's different because it's a set of questions that I normally get answered, get get uh, asked, excuse me, um, in private readings or people who are requesting free readings. So maybe your question will be answered here. So it's just, um, it's for Cancers, Cancer people. Um, if it's not for you, it's not for you, you know? But maybe you have the same question. So um, it's general in nature. So take it as, you know, as entertainment. Or maybe it will be gospel for you. I don't know. Let's get started. So it's about six questions. Um, typically, my cancers want to know, will I get a better job? So let's pull a few cards on that. Will my cancers get a better job? My cancers get a better job. transformation card the king of water and patience wow so things are changing for you in the job in job and career sector something's ending also you just have to have patience it might be something long-standing within I don't know a, a, a company something legal something's going on here you're gonna have to have patience temperance temper yourself understand and know and your and your emotions tip your emotions about this because there might be emotional outburst uh know that it's coming at the bottom of the deck we have the aid of fire so it's coming quickly and it may come by way of communication maybe through a fire sign uh scorpio cancer pisces scorpio sagittarius here if that means anything for you so the answer would be yes just have to have patience and knowing that it is coming. So the next question is, does he or she really want to be with me? Okay. Does he or she really want to be with me? So how do they feel about cancer? Do they really want to be with cancer? of earth wow the three of water in reverse the ten of air and the tower um it looks like they want to solidify something with you the relationship they want either even marriage moving in together they they want to take things to the next level this could be capricorn virgo taurus doesn't have to be sun moon or rising three of what but things are not coming together or this says that in order for them to they really want you maybe they have to get out of a, a situation they have to come out of what would be a third party situation with you and someone else involved in themselves they have to end it with the ten of air um it may be an ending that is sudden with the tower and that causes a lot of heartbreak despair um it may someone in this equation may feel blindsided maybe gemini libra aquarius Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, water sign like yourself. So in order for something to actually happen, yes, they do want to solidify things with you. They have to also stop thinking of the worst. Maybe you took this person through some things, cancer, or um, or vice versa. Things can't aren't coming together just yet because there has to be an ending. One that you know about or one that you don't know about. One that you're involved in and one that you're not involved in. Okay. So that's some yes answers here, at least. They really do want to be with you. Um, I get this a lot. Will I ever leave this state, this country? So some, of, some people want to move. Will I ever leave this state or country? Will I ever leave this state or country? 
lead meaning move, you know. Ever move? Will I ever move? What do you have to say for my cancers? All right. Well, bottom of the deck, seven of air. Seven of air talks about making a plan, maybe in secret, or or, or yeah secret plans or it there's sometimes if it's not you know you being secretive it's about um making a plan of action devising the plan of action writing it down how does it look for you to move seven of air to a fire yeah this talks about a move you've got you know two uh options here there's opposition here maybe money maybe people maybe family you have to choose make a plan of action seven of fire and stick to it um go after it stand on that plan you make the plan you start to put things in motion and action maybe even looking for residents wherever elsewhere staying with it letting no one deter you from the course of moving country or state ten of air again i'm ending one one way of being um the hard times the, the hardship is over with the ten of air it doesn't get any worse than this and it's an ending and and let this opposition within your mind and physical opposition in your environment let it end you can't take it with you so you have to resolve it within yourself to say okay well i'm okay with leaving it whatever it is you fill in the blank so looks like yes you will you need to make a plan of action um you just start taking action on that plan. Don't let anyone deter you. And then, um, you know, resolve within yourself that everything and everybody is not going to come with you. All right, what's the next question? Get this. If I leave my marriage or long-term long -term commitment for someone else, how will things turn out? Look at that. I leave my marriage for someone else how will things turn out if I leave my marriage or committed relationship how will things turn out for cancer water upright this time. You remember it was in a reverse. Looks like you'll have, you may even be dating, um, have some really joyous emotions around friends, family, dating, um, reconciliation. I let's see. How will things turn out? Wow. If you leave, it'll be the tower. It'll, you'll be breaking down that old falsehood of a relationship. It wasn't built on the right foundation anyhow. But you kept building. Knowing that one day it was all going to fall apart. Could be with a Scorpio. Seven of fire. You're going to have to stand strong. And be definite and definitive about your decision to leave. Um, you might have to fight off naysayers and people who have things to say to a fire you're gonna have to move got some of the same cards from the last one 
Well, these are the same cards from whatever leave the state or country. So some of you want to leave your state or country and the relationship behind, possibly have reconciliation, or just want to feel good. And you just you're just not happy. Um, this is what you're gonna have to do. It's gonna be opposition, but you're gonna have to make a choice. You're gonna have to make a choice to move. See, in the other decks, it's the man stands before the rocky mountain terrain and then the valley, the smooth, you know, path. You've got to choose here. You've already built one situation up on faulty ground. Do you want to continue building or, you know, I don't know. It's up to you. Good personal reading. Um, but it looks like things... There's opposition also in you leaving a long-standing committed relationship. As with anybody, some somebody's not going to be happy about it. Maybe the other party, um, they feel backstabbed and betrayed. They feel like it's out of nowhere when they really know that it's been a culmination of this. It was coming to a head. Anyhow, um, you're just going to have to stand your ground with that. You know, if that's what you want. All right, so next question. <clears throat> Does he or she still want the relationship? Does he or she still want the relationship? Eight of air just flew out of the deck. Somebody feels trapped. Maybe an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're having ruminating thoughts about things they shouldn't. It, it might even be negative things. It may be, once again, feeling trapped. The seven of air would be devising plans of action, doing things in secret. The eight of air is, I've come out of the seven of air, but I can't stop thinking about how now I feel bound in my mind. Now I think about being the seven of air or allowing things to go to the nine of air, ten of air, just ending it all. Now I am just trapped in thought. Um, let's see. Let's see if this person is trapped in thought about. It. Does he or she still want the relationship? Bottom of the deck, the four of water. Wow. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's bored. Someone feel as if they are missing an opportunity. Somebody feels as if yeah. Um, you feel as if it's all the same. If it's still going to be the third party, maybe situation. Or just a situation that just doesn't yield them what they want. So they're bored here. Three of ours again. King of Air. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is typically Libra or Aquarius. Does he or she still want the relationship? They think about this partnership heavily. But at the same time... They feel like they feel bored. They feel as if something else has caught their attention, or someone else has caught their attention. They feel like they're missing an opportunity elsewhere. Somebody was in, in a love affair. Somebody feels trapped to Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They feel as if they they think about this partnership. They want to move things along, either end it or move it along in a in a more foundational state. But someone they feel as if maybe cancer, you aren't seeing what's being offered. But they want the relationship. It's just some very trying energy here. They don't see a way out. They don't see a way um that it could be better. 
and it, they know that it needs to be worked on. There needs to be work done here. Okay. They may be cutting it out too. This king in here. Last question. Is he or she cheating? This is like the most infamous question amongst all signs. Is he or she cheating? Cancer wants to know if the other party is cheating. Is he or she cheating? This would be a committed person, right? Because they have obligation to you. Um, is he or she cheating? And it's general, so don't go home and slap anybody. Um, is he or she cheating? Okay, three cards. All right, bottom of the deck, the four of water again. Wow. Hierophant. So we might be talking about a Taurus or a long-standing commitment, relationship, marriage. Sagittarius here. Um, temperance. Weight. Patience. Temper your emotions and yourself. The will of fortune. Because your fortune is turning. Is he or she cheating? King of fire. The world. I would have to say no. The four of water and all of these very good cards. This is like soulmate type of this is like a relationship that had been going on for years I want to say at least 10 years it, for years and um, it might be with a fire sign it might be with a fixed sign um, it was a fixed sign um, Scorpio Leo Aquarius Taurus it's um, blessed it's divine it's a it's orchestrated for cancer they aren't cheating they might be a little bored they might feel as if they're missing an opportunity or wow okay this just came up some some relationship there's a marriage but then there's somebody stepping outside of the relationship and what they have, what they thought or what they know they have found is a divine connection with someone else. So for yes, some of you will be yes. Some of you will be no. Let me, let me clarify this. Where are we? 17 minutes. Oh God. Here she tuned in. Five of Swords it talks about interference, outside interference, friends, family, a third party, the heavy arguing because of interference. Give me one more. Three of Swords. Yeah. I mean, somebody thinks about this relationship heavy within an already established marriage or long-term commitment could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius maybe they they're they found a fire sign they feel like this is a really hot and heavy connection uh fire sign sun moon rising aries sagittarius leo <sighs> well they think about ending it yeah they think about ending this is divorce, separation, maybe anything about ending it with the other person or with with you, Cancer. Whoever the wherever the commitment is, they think about ending the commitment and moving on to because they feel like they're missing an opportunity here. 
they very well may be bored. This could be you, Cancer. It could be the other person. Okay. I hope that this reading gave someone out there a bit of clarity about their situation or situation they're going through or they know about. Share the video. Um, request a personal reading. I think I'm going to do a special for this type of reading. Now, it'll be the reading where you... You send me a list of questions you want to know, and I'll pull cards for that. So it'll just be, you know, your questions and cards pulled, okay? Um, I'm going to put, hey, I'm going to put that up over on the website. So just click the link below. It takes you to my website. Book the reading. And I'm going to do phone and video. Of course, phone will be um, slightly more expensive video like this so be a little bit more cheaper and the video will come in four to five business days business days do not include saturday or sunday so so that's that um a phone reading is just that it's scheduled on that day we have it that day and we're done with it um i hope this gave my cancers a bit of clarity know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys